Hey, hi, how are you? Good evening. It's a uh, Tuesday over here in Malaysia. And um, tomorrow is going to be a public holiday in Malaysia. So uh, Kelasi is not going to be active, but the uh, US market continues. So I'm just going to share with you what I've researched through over the weekends. Um, the first thing is um, <clears throat> just to let you know about this tapering tantrum, you know, the possible tapering tantrums that may happen in November <clears throat> if the Fed were to <clears throat> taper, reduce the purchase of the bonds, which they have, have been doing since uh, March 2020. Uh, I quite believe this article, what they say in the sense that the, the Fed has already quietly reduced in the purchase of the stock uh, bonds since February this year. Um, so this is something that I believe that has been quietly happening behind the scenes. <clears throat> um, although there's no uh, real announcement. And uh, <clears throat> so I don't think that uh, the November, even though there's a tapering announcement, it would actually uh, smash down or uh, cause the stock market to have jitters. <clears throat> Second thing, I just want to talk about the possible positive catalyst that's going on ahead. Uh, I think most of the negative catalysts or the fears that has, uh, I mean, already been said and the, have already reflected in the market. <clears throat> and hopefully for the next couple of months, it's only upward trends. Um, this is one of the stimulus uh, package that uh, Biden has just mentioned over the weekend, <clears throat> which is uh, inf infrastructure, which involve railways, repairing, even cybersecurity, 5G uh, communication improvements, uh, and also green energies. So uh, take note of those uh, NASDAQ, uh, green energy, cybersecurity stocks, which I think would benefit from this uh, stimulus announcement, although it may be for a lo much lower amount. Uh, Biden in this <clears throat> last weekend did mention that he will probably break it down into stages for the uh, uh, to, to, to go through the Congress, break it down into stages for the uh, stimulus uh, request from the Congress. I did mention about tax as well, <clears throat> that everybody to uh, large corporations to pay their fair tax, uh, fair, por fair portion. <clears throat> um, this is one of the news that might affect Microsoft, the one of those fang stocks. Personally, I I like Microsoft because actually Microsoft is a cybersecurity stock. <clears throat> and um, I always believe that, you know, LinkedIn was the only social media sites that has global presence, <clears throat> unlike other countries, other, other social media platforms like <clears throat> Facebook or <clears throat> Instagram or even Twitter. But unfortunately, in this, uh, this news actually came up, shows that Microsoft has decided to shut down its LinkedIn site. So it's one of the potential uh, positive things that I always like about Microsoft. But Microsoft is still a great <clears throat> um, moving ahead with revision of their price in uh, 2021 onwards for all windows and microsoft um, yearly uh, packages then oh, they also have this one-off payments that for lifetime usage which i think will be recognized in a uh, year in all those recent coming up quarters and of course their yeah, xbox which they are going ahead to do streaming <clears throat> Um, I just want to talk about, talk about uranium, then so to say the new green energy. I think it, this is actually a real, real possibility. Um, I'm going to top up my portfolio on uranium today. Um, I believe <clears throat> now it's going at about 30 US dollars, um, which has gone up to 100 US dollars per pound before. I think this may really happen. Um, from Europe to Japan and America also quietly recognizing it. Of course, um, 
they have other smaller countries like Kazakhstan, Iran, and all that already having it, but they probably they use it not for energy usage, but um, more for the possibility of creating nuclear weapons. <clears throat> Back to Starlink, you know, Tesla. This is one thing I think nobody has been talking about, which Starlink will be very likely to go listing this year uh, or next year. And I think, you know, Tesla shareholders will be rewarded for these listings. <clears throat> um, and this also will benefit other automakers for these um, auto updates, over the air updates for like what has been happening now for Tesla cars. You don't have to send your cars to the workshop anymore for uh, to update your softwares, <laughs> unlike the old conventional methods. And I think it's not only will benefit rural, rural areas where there is no internet connections, and I believe this is actually the new way of 5G communications. <clears throat> um, I want to talk about another FANG stocks other than Microsoft, which is Amazon. Um, <clears throat> Amazon has uh, is one of the, the laggards, definitely the laggards among the five FANG stocks, Netflix, Facebook, and um, Microsoft, Apple. <clears throat> um, I think e-commerce still has a lot of room to run um, with the possible winter delta surge and all that. Um, as I mentioned before in my earlier episodes, I talk about Rivian IPOs, Blue Origin, rocket launches, space tourism. Um, their monopoly in Europe and America is, is number one and number two is really, really far away. Uh, Amazon also coming out with their own products uh, to sell. I don't think they are really affected by the supply chain because they have a long-term shipping contracts with all the carriage and they bought their own planes during the COVID crisis as well, the first COVID crisis last year. <clears throat> and so they would be able to, even though with the uh, travels, uh, more and more planes grounded during the continuation of COVID and all that. Uh, you know, Amazon will have their own planes to fly. And so this is something that I think Amazon will continue to be the market leader. Just, uh, yeah, this is the news today, fresh from the oven. Delta plus mutations, it will benefit tech stocks for sure. Um, and the other possible negative catalyst that I think may exacerbate, which is uh, become worse, which is power crisis. I think we are <clears throat> definitely over the Evergrande crisis. <clears throat> it's a self-contained problem. In fact, I think more money will be channeled to the US economy and US stock market because investment firms would uh, feel that US is actually the safe haven. I think US is the least affected among all the countries in the world when it comes to power crisis because they have all the shale available in Alaska, which is, which is oil easily available at just below the surface of the uh, ground. Uh, just a question whether they want to kickstart and dig those oil or gas, you know, to available. So this is uh, basically China and the India worries, which of course, them being the factory of the world, it might be uh, a little bit of a problem. <coughs> so that's all for today. Thank you. Good night. Okay. Good morning for Tuesday market.